spray paint. I think I was introduced to it like around 10 years old. 10 years old, you know, so going to the supermarket and there was these aqueducts, you know, aqueducts just filled with artwork. Beautiful artwork, and like we walked by, and I didn't notice it the first few times, but then I, it caught my eye because the colors just stood out, just a bunch of colors. And then I just like looked, and I was like, "Whoa, man! Like, wow! Like, who would do that? Like, you gotta be some type of ninja to do some stuff like that in the tunnel and get away with it, and like all types of stuff." So it just like inspired me. I was like, "I want to do that! I want to do that!" But I didn't think I could do it at the age of ten, so. Like around the age of 13, like I was like drawing stuff, like I saw in like books and magazines and stuff, and started drawing stuff and drawing stuff that resembled, you know, quote unquote, uh, you know, what people know of it as now as a graffiti, but uh, I like to call it a, uh, you know, spray paint art, you know, let's call it what it is, it's from a spray can. So I started drawing stuff, and you know, I was more, more or less like, you know. Uh, an imagery type guy so I would do a lot of characters and stuff rather than letter forms I even threw my goals at the letter forms but the imagery the characters just stood out to me and so I was drawing that for a couple years and then from there picked up a spray can like around the age of 13 and then it just went off from there I got historical references, which is Michelangelo, Gustav, Clint, Salvador Dali, and uh, Caravaggio, as you can see, or Caravaggio, and um, they inspire me just as an artist in general and with their style. They have their own individual unique style. So that brings it back to, okay, my modern day contemporaries with the spray can, with, uh, with spray paint artists, modern day spray paint contemporaries, Vulcan Phase 2 Apex, and you know, we all believe in originality. So, when it comes to an original concept, an original idea, we believe we bring that to the table of this community, spray paint world, graffiti culture, whatever. You gotta bring something to the table. You're not bringing nothing to the table. You're just an average Joe that is uh, doing what the next man did, or doing what the doing doing what you saw in the book. It's my little creature right here. My creature, my little bird. It's my boogie bird. It's my buddy. Yeah. So. But, you know, and it's also actually the smallest painting done in the world is spray paint. Because I'll paint two inch by two inch canvases. I could probably paint them smaller than that. But two inch by two inch canvases, strictly with spray can, like I said, no additives, no preservatives, upside down technique, inverted can technique, put the can upside down, releases the pressure, fine minute spray, I'll paint small detailed intricate stuff but that's the smallest painting I claim in the world with spray paint somebody else with spray can you can't use no stencils no cheating tools none of that stuff just you in the can show me otherwise somebody show me I can go ahead and take me out you know that goes back to that whole like you know that whole street shit that whole ego pride to take them you know just take the next man out that's all that's all that mentality is Retarded. Kind of retarded, dude. But you know what? It also kind of uh, inspires people too, I guess. You know, keeps them, keeps them going. You know, that's just that's in their nature. Believe in yourself. Believe in your artwork. Once you do that your artwork will flourish. Your artwork 
anything you do. It doesn't even have to be painting with spray paint, any type of art form, you know, filming, taking pictures, being the sound boom guy, you know what I mean? Like, you know, what's it called? As long as you love it and you believe in it, run with it.